it's Inia here and today I'm gonna be making a magic slider card. I'm starting out with a piece of watercolor paper and some Tombow markers to create the background for my card. So I'm taking my markers and scribbling them onto the Tombow blending palette. If you don't have it, you can totally use a piece of acetate as well. Next, I take a watercolor brush to mix the colors together and add some water. And then I'm going to flip it over and smoosh it down onto my watercolor paper. To get a smoother result, I'm going to spray the blending palette with water using a spray bottle and smoosh it again onto my paper. Then I'm going to speed up the drying process with my heat tool and I'm going to be repeating this process until I'm happy with the results. I love to use my heat tool to completely dry each layer because this way you can get a lot more texture on your background. slider pocket for my card. I'm gonna be using the Magic Color Slider dies by Longphone because they make the process really easy. So I went ahead and die cut the pieces that I need using my die cutting machine and some Bristol smooth paper. And that is basically how to mount, mount them to create a magic slider. I also die cut two pieces of one of the smaller dies to embellish the pull top and finally I use the rectangle die included in the set to die cut a piece of acetate and I'm just going to other it to the window of my pocket with some double sided adhesive tape. Today I'm using the Flamingo Together stamp set from Long Phone and I'm gonna take some Versafine Onyx Black Ink and one of the Flamingo images and I'm stamping that on a piece of Bristol Smooth Paper. Then I'm going to stamp the big and small palm trees on the front of the pocket and I'm using Stay Sewn Ink for that because this ink is it stamps perfectly on slippery surface like acetate. I'm using my Misty to do my stamping so I can stamp my images again if the first impression is not perfect. Also, because there's a little gap between the cardstock and acetate, I'm using a black permanent marker to fix it and any other imperfections. color the top of the magic slider pocket and my flamingo panel at the same time because I want them to look similar. I recently discovered Tumbo markers and I'm having a lot of fun with them. So today I'm doing all my coloring using different techniques with these markers. So for the background I'm scribbling my markers onto the blending palette picking the color with my watercolor brush and use it just like watercolors. As I said before, this is Bristol Smooth Paper. It doesn't take as much water as watercolor paper, but it works out fine for me. But if you don't feel secure about it, use watercolor paper instead.
color the flamingo, I'm gonna use the markers without water. I'm gonna start with my light color first and use the blender to pick up the dark color and add some shadows. Then I take my dark color to add some darker shadows and finally I go back with my light color to blend everything together a bit. I don't recommend adding a lot of color because the paper will start to tear up. One of my favorite things about these markers is that you can mix different colors in the palette and use the blender to pick up the new color and apply it to your images, blending it with other colors, so you don't really need a lot of markers. So now I'm going to add my background to the magic slider pocket. I cut the panel bigger than the pocket so I can center the flamingo between the two palm trees and then I can cut the excess paper with my scissors. Now I have this U-shaped piece and I'm going to put double sided adhesive tape on both sides and adhere it to my pocket using the tab as a guide for a perfect placement. This piece is going to keep the slider tab in place while we use the slider mechanism. Before I close the pocket, I'm going to stamp this greeting from the Aloha Mini stamp set on the tab. I absolutely love this scripty font, it's super cute. Now I can go ahead and insert again the tab slider into the opening and peel off the adhesive tape, close the pocket and the magic slider pocket is done. It's super easy to put together with these dies. I decided to add an extra element to my card, so I went ahead and cut these pieces from the sun and moon die set to create a cute little sun. I'm gonna color it and the little tabs with my Tombow markers again, using the markers and the blender just like I did before with the flamingo. Now I'm going to add some instructions for the recipient of my card, stamping on my little tab this pull here sentiment from the push here stamp set. I thought it would be super fun to add a smiley face to the sun and it happens that the Aloha se stamp set has the perfect one. So I'm going to stamp it with some black ink and add the blush as well using some bubblegum ink. It looks adorable, don't you think? So it's time to put everything together. I'm gluing down the sun and little tabs with liquid glue and adhering the slider pocket to the background with crafty foam and double sided adhesive tape. At this point I felt that those palm trees needed some ground under them. So I die cut a little hill out of watercolor paper using the simple stitch hillside borders and I colored it with my Tombow markers just like I did on my background. To finish off the card, I'm adding a little piece of yellow twine to the tab slider to make it easy for the recipient to pull out the tab and then I'm adhering everything to a base card. And that's the finished card for today. The supplies I use are listed and linked below the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, here are a couple more cars that you may like. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day, bye!